what is up everybody welcome back to the channel um this is going to be kind of more of a rant okay so i'm warning you now this is just me talking shit man um not in a disrespectful way because it's just whatever like i i'm so immune to it it, it doesn't even matter um but i just think it's super important for me to share it with you just so you can kind of understand my my thought process and my strategies when it comes to building my business and and really protecting my time um, if anything, you know, um, it's all about, it's all about time. Like we only have so much time in a freaking day. Right. And so when it comes to my appointments, I don't give people a second chance. And if I do give you a second chance, it's because we probably have more of a, of a, of a bond or, or, or a relationship built. You know what I mean? It might be, it might be something like that, but, but nine out of 10 times, 9.9 .9 out of 10 times, when it comes to appointments, it's with people that I don't know yet, right? It's, and, and even in your case, if you're building a business, if you're building an agency, if you're a freelancer, if you're doing any kind of done-for-you services, your appointments are with people, with potential clients, with prospects that you don't know, that you don't know yet. You never spoke to them. You, 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 you may have never met them, especially if you're, if you're building a business like me where 100% is the internet and social media. Um, these are people that I'm scheduling appointment appointments with that I don't know. I never spoke to, and I never met in person at all. Right. So when I go and schedule appointments, first of all, my first, my first strategy is I don't, I don't give people a time to choose, right? Like, like some, like one, one sell strategy that I would, that I would, you know, um, not that I would implement, but I would always learn. Like I, I would always hear, I should say, I would always hear is when you're a closer, you're giving people a couple options on when to choose the best time. Like for example, if I'm messaging you or if I'm talking to you on the phone and I say, Hey John, okay, great. Tomorrow works. I'm available either at 2 PM or 11 AM. What time works best for you? A popular, popular sales tactic when it goes to scheduling appointments would be to give them an option like that. Give them two options and make them choose a time. I don't do that at all. Like I never have really, um, to tell you the truth. I, yeah, I, I never really approached it that way. My whole thing, my whole strategy would be what's your best time? right? What is your best time? And, and I really, really implemented this and, 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 and adopted this, this strategy when I started my social media agency. Um, so back in 2016, this is how I started scheduling my appointments. And as you know, if you caught previous videos, I've, I've, I've onboarded hundreds of clients since 2016, not quite a thousand yet, but I, but definitely hundreds, hundreds, more than 200, more than 300. I think I'm at almost 400. I've onboarded four. Well, let's just put it this way. Hundreds of clients. Um, and in fact, stay to the end of this video. I'm going to tie my, my most recent video about, about that and how many clients I, I really brought aboard. Cause I, I don't even recall off, off the top of my head, but I have a video on that. So stay to the end. You'll see that video. But since 2016, direct messaging on social media, I've literally, literally brought on hundreds of clients, okay? And so the way I would do it is I would always tell them, I would say, hey, what is your best time tomorrow? So I'm always going for the, for the next day appointment. Um, and I don't know if you guys can hear that, but the freaking lawnmower guy is outside. So I apologize if that damn lawnmower is freaking in your eardrum right now, because it's definitely in mine shit, this guy always has to come around when I'm freaking doing a damn video. But um, I would always tell him, I would say, hey man, what is your best time tomorrow? And so keywords, tomorrow, best time tomorrow, right? Like I don't go for the appointment today. I don't go for the appointment. If, if today's Wednesday, I'm not telling him, hey man, what's your, what's your best time on Friday? I'm always 100% always shooting for tomorrow. And then if, if tomorrow doesn't work for them, then they'll tell me another day. I never, I never go out a week. So if they say, yeah, message me next week. Nope, I'm not. Because in my case, you guys, with social media, if you're following my direct message strategy, whether it's on Facebook, Instagram, or LinkedIn, or even Twitter, um, we have an unlimited amount of prospects, man. We have an unlimited amount, unlimited amount, unlimited amount. 
So I am not chasing anyone, 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 anyone. I don't chase no one for their business, like at all at all. It's kind of crazy. And this is against what you guys probably been learning in your call center from your freaking coach or some sales manager teaching you a bunch of bullshit. I don't chase anyone, man. I, I, I don't. I just have an unlimited supply. Thank God I have an unlimited supply of prospects on social media. So it's like, dude, I don't, if they try to tell me, Hey man, yeah, message me next week or let's set up a time for next week. No dude, I ain't messaging you back. Like, like it's, it's, it's either, it's either we fit each other's time and life right now. Either we're going to cross paths right now or we're not. And, and, and and now don't take that in a, in a disrespectful way. You know, as I'm telling you guys on YouTube, I'm just putting the ball in. It's not really put. Yeah. I guess it's, we'll put it this way. If that were to happen and they would say, they would say, yeah, man, next week, I'll say, okay, great, man. Message me later. Me- message me next week and we'll see if we can schedule the time. I don't schedule that time right then and there. I don't say, okay, today's Wednesday. Okay, great. Are you free next Monday? Like, hell no, dude. I don't schedule that far out at all because shit happens. Life happens. People forget. Even though I schedule it, I'll schedule it. I'll send you an email reminder and everything. But because so many days pass by, Nine out of 10 times, that person forgets. I for sure don't forget. I'm the entrepreneur here. I am on that, sh- that, that shit like flies on shit, right? I am on it, right? I'm on my appointments. I take that, that, that super seriously. And that's the whole point of this damn video is that I take it so seriously, I'm not going to forget. It's on my calendar. And, 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 and so I just, I just know that nine out of 10 times, they forget. And that's what en- ends up happening is that, if they go for next week, no, man, if, if anything, message me back, Stacy, or message me, you know, whenever, whenever you got time and we'll go from there. But, but I don't schedule that. So if they do end up messaging me back and if, and if it's a real sincere reason why they can't tomorrow, okay, cool, whatever. But I'll have them message me back eventually. Like they'll get back to me. I'm not chasing them at all. Um, and, and so that was, that, that's, that's part of the strategy. And then, all, and, and then the next one was the fact that, um, I'm always going for the next day appointment, right? What time, what's your best time tomorrow? And the reason why I do tomorrow is because it's tomorrow. Like I need to get your ass on the phone. Like I need to talk to you as soon as possible. And, and, and if I say today, it makes me seem desperate. So that's why I'm not going for today. Um, I, I always tell them, I say, you know what? I'm super busy today. Even if, and here's another inside scoop. Even if I don't even have anything booked today, I'm not talking you to talking to you today. Like if I'm messaging you and we're going for an appointment, I'm not, even if my calendar is clear today, I am not saying, Hey man, can you jump on in an hour? Too soon. It's too soon. I don't do it that way. Some of you guys probably do. I don't, I'm always going for the next day. Um, because I want them, I want their mindset to be ready. I want them to be prepared. I want them to show up to that appointment with freaking a pen and paper ready to take some notes. Like I want them to to to, to schedule that shit into their into their life and into their calendar. I don't want any random, sporadic, you know, freaking spontaneous appointment. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm available right now. Can you jump on in five minutes? Dude, you just sound too desperate. You sound like you don't have shit going on. You sound like you have a damn clear schedule, right? You sound like you ain't got no one booked. You sound like a broke ass entrepreneur, right? So I make it sound like I'm busy. I make it sound like I got a whole damn freaking 10 appointments scheduled. I can't take it today, even if I wanted to. What's your best time tomorrow, right? So I'll put it out like that, man. And, 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 and again, it makes it sound like I'm super busy. It, it, it makes them know that my time is valuable, you know? Um, and it, it, it has them take it seriously. So I'm always, I'm always shooting for the next day, but I'm, I'm asking, what is your best time? Because if I give them my best time, okay, yeah, I got a 10 a.m. open and I have a 3 p.m. What time works best? They're, I'm going to make them choose either time. And what if that wasn't even a good time for them? That's why I don't do it that way. Because what if, like, like God knows I need that business. God knows that I want that business and I need that appointment more than they do, right? I'm the one trying to sell them. But what if they're not available at that time, right? And that's why I don't do it that way. Because if I say, okay, I'm available 10 a.m. or 2 p.m., which one works best? They say 2 p.m. And then all of a sudden they know damn well they were not available at 2 p.m., but I forced them to choose that time. And then what, what ends up happening is that I end up showing up to the appointment and they're not there because something happened, right? Something came up. So I always ask them, I say, hey, man, 
what is your best time tomorrow? And so they'll tell me their best time. And if it doesn't work with my time, I'll let them know right away. I'll let them know. I'll say, you know what, John, 10 a.m. I'm actually booked. What's your next best time? So if that happens, then, then, then I'll let them know. Right. But, but I'm giving them the time and the chance to, to, to give me their best time. So when I schedule that appointment, they show up and, and let me knock on wood, but I'm telling you, man, I am telling you since 2016, here is the honest to God truth, man. Since 2016, 9.9 out of 10 times my appointments show up, which is absolutely crazy if you think about it. Like in cells in general, that's absolutely crazy. Who the hell has a freaking damn near 10 out of 10 show up rate, right? Those of you that are in cells, selling whatever, cars, houses, freaking cell phones, insurance, whatever. Normally, something happens. Normally freaking that person will cancel or reschedule or shit happened and their kid got off of school early and they had to pick them up. Right. Um, normally that happens, man. But, but, but since I, I started really reaching out on social media and doing it this way, um, I have a high, I have a high show up rate, man. And what, and, 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 and if you want to hear something even crazier, my closing rate is absolutely ridiculous. Like I literally close nine out of 10 clients. Like if I jump on the phone, man, nine out of 10 times, and it's been that way since 2016, nine out of 10, I'm bringing a board. I'm bringing a board. And, 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 and that's just what it is, man. And, and so I let them tell me their best time. I schedule that. I ask for the next day appointment, not days out, not a week out, not today. Um, and so when I do it that way, they show up, they show up. Right. And, 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 and again, nine out of 10 of them, I'm bringing aboard. And, and so those are my numbers, man. Those are my real, real numbers. And again, stay to the end of the video. Cause that next video will pop up on my recent one on how many clients I close. I think I did that video at the end of 2019. Um, and I'm just giving you a, a breakdown, showing you my real numbers of how many clients I brought aboard. Okay. And this is how I do it, man. And so here's my point. If they don't show up to that appointment, so that, that, that point one or that point oh one or what, let's just call it 1%, the 1%. So nine out of 10 show up that one out of 10 that did not show up. I don't give them a second chance, especially if they don't even reply, especially if they don't even hit me back. Now, if they hit me back and they message me and say, David, dude, I freaking apologize. Shit happened. My kid had to freaking go to the dentist. If that message comes back, then we'll reschedule. But I'm not reaching out to them. If anything, I'll tell them that I'm on Zoom because I do it just like this, right? Screen share. I do all my appointments like this. It's not a phone call. It is a Zoom call. And I'm doing screen share so I can visually show them what I can help them with when it comes to their social media marketing and their Facebook advertising. So what, 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 what I do is I say, I say um, damn, where was I going with that? I was freaking on, on it. Um, if, if they... It, it, I'll tell them, I'll say, Hey John, I'm on zoom. Like, like, and, and then also what I also do is my email autoresponder all through Kartra, my email autoresponder sends them an automated reminder that our appointment is coming up. So one hour before our appointment, they get a reminder. And then what I do because I'm friends with them on LinkedIn or Instagram or, or Facebook, I message them 10 minutes before our appointment. So if our appointment's at 11 AM, at 10.50, I'm sending them a direct message. Hey, John, I'll be on soon. And that's it. And, and so here's what happens. If they don't reply to that, and then, and then, and then right at 11 a.m., if they're not on, I'll message them. And I'll say, John, I'm on. And then five minutes later, actually, I'll go, I'll go 10 minutes. 10 minutes later, if they're not on, if they're not on Zoom, I'll, I'll, I'll message them back and I'll say, hey, John, do you need to reschedule? And if they don't reply back, done. Okay, no more, no more messaging, no second chance, um, unless they get back to me. You know, because again, I give people the benefit of the doubt for sure. I'm not trying to be an asshole, but I'm not going to chase you either. If you message me back a few hours later and say, "Holy shit, David, my phone died and I was freaking on a cliff, 
freaking butt naked and some dude wanted to hang me and throw me off. Like if they come back and say some random, you know, thing, I'll give them the benefit of the doubt because now at least I know they're interested. At least I know that I freaking have them because once, once they reply back and they say, damn dude, I, my bad. I apologize. Can we please reschedule? I know for a fact, I know for a fact that when we do reschedule, I'm closing them. Because that's a person that was motivated or not just motivated, but that was a person that had the decency to message me and say, hey, man, my bad. Let's get back on. Let's reschedule. I'm fired up to hear what you got to offer. I already know I'm closing them. Like I already know. So I will go back and reschedule that appointment. But if I don't hear from them, man, if I don't hear from them, no second chance, no second chance. And what I end up doing also is I end up unfriending them on Facebook or I'll, or I'll unfollow them on Instagram or I'll disconnect from them on LinkedIn, whatever, just so I never bother them again. I don't want to bother them again. Now, they can always request me back. That's fine. Um, you can always follow me on YouTube. That's fine. You can always comment. That's fine. But most likely, you didn't show up that to that first appointment for whatever reason. And, and, and yeah, for whatever reason, man for whatever reason, a lot of times that person may, may have just been completely broke and, and they knew that they weren't going to have money for anything that I was going to tell them, which I don't even tell them I'm selling them anything in the first place. Anyways, it's a consultation call. I'd love to just strategize with you and maybe just share some tips that will really help your business. Right? So it's, it's not even really a hardcore sales approach at all. Like, and, and, and that's why a lot of times my appointments schedule, you know, that are scheduled show up because I'm, I, I, I go the, the very non-aggressive approach. And before you know it, at the end of the call, I'm grabbing their credit card, you know? So if, if, if anything, you guys, if they message me, man, um, then, then, then I'll reschedule. But again, if I don't hear from them, if I don't hear from them, like, for example, let me, and, and you know, what's so crazy is I will literally, okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm literally going to give you a clear example of what of of what I mean. This is this you can't fake this, you guys. This is real deal shit. This is this is literally um what inspired me to freaking do this video for you. Look, I'm gonna just show you some real shit right now. Okay, look. This is referring to this this last person, okay? Shout out to Don. No disrespect. It is what it is. You're busy. I get it, whatever. But this is this is how the message went. Look, look, we scheduled it yesterday, right? Actually, you know what I'm going to tell you right now? I'm going to show you the whole damn thing right now. Look, I'm interested in hearing more, but I really don't have any time today. Okay, let me know if you have a few minutes tomorrow and we'll schedule a quick call. I can share my screen and walk you through it. All I ask for is a good review on my business page. So right there, you guys, a total stranger, they're thinking that I'm not selling them shit, right? That's my message, man. That's my message. So right there, you guys, that was worth you showing up. So if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the damn channel because I got more shit to bring you in 2020. Subscribe, smash the bell for notifications, drop me a comment below and let me know you got it. Let me know you got it. Comment below, you got it, okay? Put, I got it. This right here is my message. She put, you got it, okay? And then I put, awesome, send me your email, best time tomorrow. I'll add us to the calendar and, e and email you confirmation. That's when I bring them to my Kartra calendar. So if you guys aren't on Kartra, profitwithkartra.online. You guys are messing around, wasting your money with all these other random software services. Kartra is what runs my entire online business. So I'll have them send me their email, right? So shoot for 10 a.m., right? And then my morning is all booked. I can do anytime after 2 p.m., right? So this, you guys, I'm... I'm telling you, man, I'm keeping it real with you guys, man. I got nothing to sugarcoat. I am keeping you real. This is my exact freaking um, dialogue. She put, okay, 2.30, perfect. I'll email you. Thank you so much for your time. Chat tomorrow. Here's what happened. At 2.30, okay, at 2.30, I, I show up. I message her a few minutes before, okay? I message her. This is Eastern Standard Time on Pacific Time. So at 11.30, at 11.27, I message her. Hi, Don. Logging on soon. And then right when I'm on, I'll message her. If she hasn't been on, if she's not on Zoom, I'll say, hey, I'm on. And then what happened? Our appointment was for 1130. At 11.48, I said, thank you for your time, Don. Okay. And here's what I'm even going to do. If she hasn't unfriended me already, I'm going to unfriend her. Okay. And here's what's crazy. 
I know she saw the message, right? On Facebook specifically, look, she's seen it at 1148. So out of respect, this is a business person, right? This is a real estate agent, for example, no matter what business it is, they're a professional. Why wouldn't you have replied to that message and say, hey, David, my bad. I'm at a closing right now. It, it was unexpected. Let's reschedule, right? She could have easily said something like that. It takes freaking one second to thumb me back. Thumb me, man. Why don't you thumb me back? It takes freaking one second. You're a professional, right? You don't want your, your, your prospects doing this to you. You don't want your clients doing that to you. You want your clients not showing up for your listing appointments, Don? You don't, right? So have some decency, have some respect to at least reply. But hey, man, I'm just telling you, it's all good. If they don't reply, you're gone. No second chance. It's all good. I didn't know you anyways. You didn't know me anyways. It's all good. All in friend and, 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 and just move on to the next one, man. And so with that strategy alone, you guys, I'm telling you from 2016, 99% show up rate. What I'm basing this whole video on is the 1% that doesn't show and what I do to them. Okay. No second chance, man. It's all good. No second chance. Unfriend, unfollow, unconnect off of LinkedIn. No big deal. They'll see me in their news feed later on. They'll see me on YouTube later on. Catch me when you catch me, right? And so that's what I do, you guys. So, so stop Mickey mousing it. Stop chasing around these prospects. Like tell your sales manager, hey, bro, shoot me more leads, man, because I ain't chasing no one. I'm going to keep dialing, 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 dialing until I find my ace, right? I'm going to shuffle through that deck of cards until I find those four aces, in that deck of cards. And here's a great analogy, you guys, and I'll leave you with this. And this is what one of my mentors, one of my best friends um, taught me in 1999. In 1999, when we were starting our first business together, okay? And yes, man, that was a long ass time ago, right? In 99, he said, David, and we're learning the lead business at that time. We were learning the, the, the marketing and advertising and internet business at that time. And so he said, he said, David, because it was all about closing deals at that time with that business that we were building. We were building like a cell phone company and we were, and we were bringing aboard customers and bringing aboard sales reps. And he said, David, we got leads. We got the internet. This is when we were barely starting to get online. Like, we, like the internet, we still had dial up, dude. We still had freaking AOL dial up. So some of you guys that are freaking 20 years old today, all you freaking know is the internet. All you know is high speed internet. Well, shit, man. When I started this damn thing, we had to connect the damn wire to the telephone. Like we had, we had dial up, right? So it was that slow ass dinosaur ass connection, but that's how we started. And so my friend would tell us, he would, he would tell me, he'd be like, dude, we got, we're going to have unlimited people to talk to. Like the internet is opening up. Like we're going to have unlimited amount of people to talk to. So there's no need to chase anyone. And, 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 and when you do chase people, you just end up looking desperate anyways. And so I stopped chasing people years ago, man, because of this analogy, he would tell me, he's all David, how many cards are in a deck of cards? And I would tell him 52, 52 cards, right? 52 cards in a deck of cards. And he would say, how many aces? And, and I would tell him four. And he's all, those are the four aces. Those are your cells. So if I gave you this deck of cards and I told you to find me the four aces as fast as possible, and if you can find it in under five seconds, I'll give you 500 bucks. If I told you that, you guys, if I handed you a deck of cards and I said, hey, man, I will pay you 500 bucks to find me the aces in under five seconds. Ready, set, go. What would you guys do, man? What would happen when you guys go through that deck of cards and you, and you, and you pass a three, a four, a five, a jack, a king, a queen, a freaking two, a spade, whatever. You guys would be going through that deck of cards, not even giving a shit about the nine or the 10 or the seven or whatever. You wouldn't care about any of those because you know for a fact those four aces are in there somewhere and you're going to find them no matter what because 500 bucks is on the line and I got five seconds. So I ain't got no time to waste. That's how it is, man. That's how it is with social media. We have so many people to talk to. 
I ain't got time to chase you. I am looking for my four aces because I know my four aces are out there. I know my numbers. I know the 52 cards. I know I got to shuffle through them as fast as possible to find those four. And when I learned that in 1999, my whole entire next 20 years, you could say, that's where we're at now, 21 years later, that whole 20 year run, I had that mindset. I had that perspective where I was a lead guy. So all I would do is just call, 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 and not give a shit. Now, again, when you got interested people, of course, you'll follow up. Of course, you'll be persistent with the interested ones. But at the same time, it's like, I'm not going to bug you. Like, I'm not going to bug you. I got too many people to talk to, man. And I ain't got enough time in the day, bro. So I ain't got time to chase you. I ain't got time to give you some crazy sales tactic to make you show up to the next appointment. Like, I ain't got that kind of time. I ain't got that kind of time. I ain't got that kind of energy. So it's like, shit, man. That's why that whole salesman, you know, got a bad rap because you guys are chasing people, calling them 15 times a day, trying to pitch them all kinds of crazy tactics to get them to buy or show up to the damn appointment. It's like, dude, and, 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 and the reason why you're doing that is because you got 10 leads. Go get a thousand, bro. Go get unlimited. Come over to social media and start direct messaging people unlimited supply. You guys won't have to chase anyone ever again. And when that person doesn't show up to the appointment, next, no second chance, Don. I apologize. So that's kind of my mindset, you guys. That's kind of my strategy. And that, and, and that right there allows me, allows me to stay focused on the four aces, knowing damn well, without a shadow of a doubt that those four aces are in that deck. You got to know that in that lead batch that you have, whether it's your social media friends or people on Instagram or whatever, you have to know your product. You have to know your service. You have to know the value that you can bring to that audience. And as long as you know that and you know that the, the pain points and you know that what you have they need, right? As long as you know that, then it's game time. It's game time. The ones that don't show up, no big deal. Now, if you, have, if you have a ton of people not showing up, something's wrong with your messaging. Something's wrong with your pitch. If you, have a, if you have a ton of people not showing up to your appointment. But I'm telling you, let them choose the time. Shoot for tomorrow. Ask for their email. Send them a confirmation. Get that on the calendar, okay? And I promise you, your show up rate will increase, man. It's that little tweak right there that, that makes all the difference. You're giving them their best time, okay? That's why they show up because it was their best time, not yours, right? And so make their best time your best time and everything, everything will make sense and everyone will be happy. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys. I had a couple people, a couple people. One is, is in my social media, you know, um, um, circle that was Don. That's who I wanted to really talk to and really help. God, she needed it. Holy crap, she needed it. Just looking at her pages, I haven't spoke to her, never, never did anything like that before. But looking at her pages, I'm like, shit, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be able to blow this person away. That and I was fired up. I was fired up to talk to her, man. So again, shout out to Don. I was fired up to talk to you. But it's like, shit, man. Your pages are are horrible, and 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 I know for a fact they're not bringing you any type of leads at all. So I was fired up to speak to her, but at the same time, man, shit happens. And, and I'll give her the benefit of the doubt. If something happened, hopefully nothing bad happened. Hopefully she's okay. But at the same time, I ain't got time to follow up to find out. Right. So, um, keep it simple. You guys have fun and just go through your numbers. It's all a numbers game, man. It's all a numbers game anyway. So know your numbers and, and know, know your audience. And if you can, if you can really bring value and really, really hit the pain points that that group is missing, that that niche, that audience is missing, they're going to show up to your appointments. They're going to buy whatever the hell you're selling and everyone's going to be making money, man. So have fun. You guys keep it simple. No second chances. And that, oh yeah, that's what I was going to say. My first one was with Don, and then I had another one with another person that, that just came on a Kartra. Because I always tell everyone, I say, man, set up your 14-day trial with Kartra, and I'll help you get it started. I'll give you my time for free. Just set the damn thing up. Profitwithkartra.online. Click on the damn link. Set up your 14-day trial for Kartra. Message me when you do, and you got my time. That was the second appointment that today that didn't show up. 
didn't show up. And it's like, this is my boy. So it's like, shout out to Rob. This is my boy. So I know shit happens, but at the same time, man, I am so busy nowadays where it's like, dude, every appointment I got it. I got to take seriously. I got to protect my time. I got kids. I got wife. I got freaking appointments. I got, I got money to make, man. So shit, if you're not going to show up and not even message me or not even email me, it's like, dude, okay. It is what it is, man. It is what it is. So shout out to Don. Shout out to Rob. Hope you guys are right, man. But it may be hard to try to get me back on the phone again. All right. So blessings to all you guys in 2020, man. Do the damn thing. Step up your lead game. Step up your prospecting. Go through more numbers than you ever have before. Work on your pitch. Work on your approach. Work on the value. Work on the services. Work on your deliverability. Work on what you're bringing to the market. And I promise you, man, if you can master whatever the hell they're missing, they will pay you for it. But first, you got to get them on the phone. All right. So hope, hope that was valuable, you guys. Hope you got something out of all of that. And stay to the end. You're going to see my, my recent video that I, that I dropped at the end of 2019 talking about how many clients I brought aboard with this exact strategy. All right, guys. So I'll see you on the next video over and out. Close them deals.